builders, parents, and collectors on this episode of the Creation Evaluation Station. We have a special Christmas episode and we are going to be evaluating this. It's Santa's sleigh. Um, before I get into it any further, I'll let new people know that I do in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, mostly Lego, but other products as well. I do both new and older sets. And um, on top of that, I also review and discuss other creative works, such as movies, animation, and video games. So, these are in-depth reviews, so they can be on the long side. Make sure you're looking down here on the red line. You'll see there's timestamps there or in the description that you can use to hop around to your favorite part or to use as bookmarks to come back at a later date. And so, getting down to the details of this, it's kind of funny. It doesn't have the name of the set on the box, but it's kind of evident what it is. And yes, it's called Santa's Sleigh. Um, the rest of the details, though, it's set number 40499. Um, for ages 9 and up, rather for an older set. Um, it's 343 pieces and retails for $39.99 on the LEGO website. I do not know how long they're going to have these out. If they're just for Christmas, they might disappear at Christmas. They may not disappear until New Year's. They might be up for all Christmas um, next week. Not sure. I got mine at the LEGO store. I just happened to be by. I got this, and I also got a... Oh, I think it's right here. Yeah. The three special build characters that you can get. Um, I'm not gonna really look at these right now, but these are, um, you can build them yourself, going through their things, but they had some already pre-built, which is good, because I didn't feel like taking the time to dig through all the parts just to get the, the new figures. But they do go well with this. So I bought all of them together, which gave me $50 worth merchandise and got a freebie um, bag. Uh, as a VIP. You have to be a VIP member to do that. Um, so just if you're interested, getting a little extra stuff for Christmas, uh, yeah, check that stuff out. But back to this. It's really cool looking. I'm looking forward to putting it together. It's a nice Christmas set. I know they have quite a few different Christmas like village sets and stuff. I, If I had the time and the money, I would pick up more and set up my own little Christmas village that you could put out every year, you know, for Christmas and display. But that's another story. This is quite a heavy box. It's not a big box, but it's also 40 bucks. So with the weight of it, I hope you're getting your, your money's worth. But, so let's go open her up and see what's inside. Here we have the contents of the box. And let me just say, this thing was packed full. There's a lot of pieces here, densed in, into a compact box, and my instruction booklet is all folded as well. There's also a sticker sheet, which I was not happy to see, but I'll probably put these on, although I will show that without them on, um, just because I don't think I'm going to tear this down. It's a Christmas set. <laughs> uh, but as far as bags, we have two bag ones and two bag twos. And despite only having two steps, I'm going to do each of these separately because there's a lot of pieces between all the different bags. And we also have reindeer. Let's not forget the reindeer. Yes. Four reindeer. So, let's open it up. Here we have the contents of bag one and bag one. And there are a lot of pieces here, mostly small. Although we do have a good mix of larger ones here, like these plates. Some uh, long, uh, long, thin plates as well. Some panels over there. More long plates. We have this nice, unique uh, print here for Santa's list. I 
Not sure if it's in any other sets. There might be other sets with Santa in. I know there are other Christmas sets, so they might have that as well. This might not be completely unique, but it's definitely rare. We have Santa over here. Teddy bear, pretzel, carrot, ski poles. We've got a guitar. I'm guessing those are all presents. But yeah, it's quite a bit here for all one step. A lot of small pieces, though. Here we have bag two and bag two. We have a lot of gold and, of course, a lot of red. Not quite such a mixed bag of parts. Most of them are medium to very small. We have these in gold, which that just makes perfect sense. Never thought of, about using them for, like, fancy trim. Um, of course, all I've seen them in is, like, blue for underwater scenes. Uh... Transparent blue, even. Like I said, a lot of gold parts and a lot of tiny parts. Lot, lot, lot. I got the skis there, the sleds. Skis. Fledgeski. What is that? Let's go put this together. Here we have the leftover parts, and nothing too much of interest. There's the normal kibbles and stuff. Although we do have a scent beard. You could use for a regular figure somewhere and you know gold wand usual typical stuff there's an extra ski pole a lot of little kibble things that can be used for decorating your own creations but really nothing super amazing um we also have these left over and they're not really leftovers because they're supposed to go into the uh, the reindeer's back so that they um, when they don't have their uh, harness on so you could uh, let them go in your uh, go wild in your uh, zoo and uh, be free so uh, there's that they're not really leftovers though. and here we have Jolly Saint Nick our main character in this set after all it's his sleigh um, he's got this wonderful if you looked at left the parts, but a special uh, naughty and nice list. Um, but we'll strip them down here quick. I'm not even gonna shut the camera off because, oops, not too much to see here. Although I don't know, he might have a unique torso. Look we'll closer at that. All right, there he is with his costume off. With his beard off, I mean, and his hat. Um, definitely looks like a jolly old guy. Um, unfortunately, he's only got a single face. He doesn't have a double-sided face. He's got uh, dual uh, molded legs there, which are kind of nice with the black boots. Um, doesn't require any printing that way, unless they wanted to put laces or something on it. The uh, torso piece looks... Pretty nice, got some nice shiny buckles there and buttons. Nice, uh, looks pretty good. And this is what I think is, might be unique, is the, the, uh, candy cane there in his belt. He's packing, you know, uh, he's ready for Christmas. He's packing his, his candy canes, ready to go for a long journey. But other than that, he, he looks like a good Santa Claus. I know they've had him in, had uh, him in other sets. I don't know, you know, if this is unique to this set or not. But uh, there you have it. We've got everything assembled here, including these pieces here, which will go into the backs of the reindeer when they're not saddled up here. Um, push that aside here. Now uh, we only have four reindeer, which is quite a lot, I think, for this set. But if you wanted to get his full team you'd have to get more of these and I think it'd be quite easy with the pieces in there to build the extension for the thing to go out uh, he's got eight twelve right now I don't I don't know we go sing the song right um, no Rudolph though if you want a red nose reindeer you're gonna have to uh, wait and see maybe they'll have something come out later or paint somebody's nose red <laughs> One or the other.
But, uh, yeah, this is a really nice looking set. I didn't put the stickers on, but even without the stickers on it, the design is really nice. Um, we got a little bit of posability here in the reins. Um, these guys can go sideways too. Uh, not that you want them too much. There's hinge there, and then there's a hinge up back up here. He's got plenty of room. You could put another character on here. Easy enough. I am sitting in the middle there, but you could put him on one end and put more in the middle on the other sides. And this sleigh, so beautiful. Uh, he's got a license plate back here, which the sticker goes there. Uh, and in here, he's got lots of presents. This is where the guitar is. He's got skis. He's got all these um, built presents in here as well. Of different assortments. And then along the back here, where the, you pull it out, ta-da, he's got snacks for the deer and himself. Keep them going through the night. And that's a nice little hidden uh, hidden door there that's really neat. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of room. There's the hidden space down here. There's This is quite deep up here, what he's got. Um, plenty of room up here. Um, I'm not sure if he can actually stand. I mean, he can stand, but he's kind of got to move that out of the way. But uh, if you want him to stand in there. You can go in there. Um, looks a little silly like that. I wouldn't want to expect him to fly the fly it like that. But uh, give his list back and put him right there in the middle. And oh, we lost the reindeer. There we go. Yeah, they they can <laughs> rotate around that way a little bit, but. Uh, don't really want that, but uh, yeah, uh, underside. Oops, we're not doing the underside. <laughs> we're gonna lose everything out of the top. Santa is loaded, but yeah, there's not much to see under there, anyways. He's got some nice, somewhat posable uh, skis, they move a little bit, so if you have some uneven terrain, it works good with. There we go, all back in there. Only thing this is missing is probably a sack. <laughs> but let's uh, head back to the desk and give this a uh, final eval in my thoughts. It's going to be a good set, though, I have a feeling. Welcome back to the desk, and we're ready to give this a final eval. But first, my final overall thoughts on it. Um, I think this is a really great set. It looks great. It would go great in anybody's, uh, you know, city, town sets um if they have their own city set up or if they have their own christmas village set up i know there's a bunch of christmas village sets out now that would go great with this as well um but yeah you could you know use it to go with a, a regular city um so let's break it down and give it a final evaluation um as far as appearance Oh, uh, there's no stickers on here. I've not put any stickers on here. It looks great without stickers. It doesn't need them. I mean, the most, it has a license plate on the back and it looks silly blank, so having a sticker there is good. There's a couple other stickers that give it a little bit of character, but it doesn't really need it because of all the other, like, gold trim and stuff that's on here that makes it look great. The stars, the little squiggly things and stuff like that it it looks really nice even without the stickers and then you know these reindeer look nice they're painted good santa's uh the santa suit santa figure looks really good um the print there on the is naughty and nice list looks good um so yeah this thing easily got a 10 for uh appearance now function this works really good i uh for what it's supposed to be you know it's a sleigh it doesn't even have rolling wheels um but the the 
sleds are on a little joint, so if you have uneven ground, it moves around. Um, the the posable reins here are nice. Also, for if you know you got a, a little bit of uneven ground, and the reins are really nicely built, which that kind of pulls into to to uh, um, technique as well, but. Uh, it goes with the looks and everything else is it's really thin looking it doesn't look really thick like i've seen some older castle sets and stuff that have reins on horses and they're really thick and they just don't don't look that good um but this looks really nice that way and uh it like i said it functions and then there's the secret um little drawer out the back that wasn't necessary it would have been fine with this with that, that just mm, makes it even nicer. So as far as take, uh, I skipped a technique. As far as function goes, it also uh, got a tech. Now fun, this is great. It, it's Santa sleigh. What you can have fun with that, no problem. But it could use something more to it. You know, um, that this is bad, but it's like maybe some more figures, like some L's or a side build like a chimney or even a small house even if it would be kind of ridiculous for to, to land on that house but could use something a little bit more for play but it's okay as is it just as a standalone play with something else nah, it, it's a little weak and i gave it a nine um I'm not taking a lot of points off for that. It's still a fun set. It's fun. It works well. Things move. There's hidden drawers. Stuff like that. I just feel like something more could have been added. Just make it a little bit of fun. But with the price point and everything else, I think I could understand why they didn't. Um, now, as far as techniques go, yes. The building techniques to get the shapes and everything nice the the colors the the hidden drawer the reins up front mm, beautiful um yeah and because of that it also got a 10. <laughs> so you take all that up you add it together you get a 39 divide by four and you end up with a 9.75. And of course we round up, so it's getting a 10. Uh, not a solid 10, but a 10 just the same. It's a, a good set. Um, for That's the final average. Now on to the price. It was 39. Yes, 39.99 had 343 pieces. And you do the math, divide that up, and you get 11 cents per piece. Now, that's only a penny above 10. Um, there felt like there was a lot here. It's $40, and I could see that. There's quite a few parts here as well. Um, it, it, it's only slightly, you know, off. And, well, yeah, that's, that's the biggest. Um, um, not problem, but the biggest... Uh, money sink with this set are the reindeer those large pieces there but you get four of them i and it's only a, a penny over standard price and this is overall a great set so i ended up giving it a g for good um that brings our grand total final evaluation score to a 10 g um this is a really great set what can i say i mean Santa's sleigh, you could have had, you know, like a small poly build, bag build for it or something, but this is a really extravagant um, build for it, and I love it, and it's going to look great, and we're going to, I'm going to put it under our little Christmas tree, we have a smaller, small one that um, I'm gonna, we're, we're using, and yeah, Santa's coming to my house tonight, hopefully he'll be at your too but uh 
yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, give it a like. And uh, Merry Christmas. And have a Happy New Year. Although I'll probably see you before then. Um, that's it for me here at the Creation Evaluation Station. Reminding you that creativity is key.